these lovable kitties can surely capture anyone's heart. But which one is better for you? And why is the Scottish Fold one of the most controversial cat breeds in the world? Let's find out. Here's a fun fact. These cats also come in long-haired versions, a fact not many people are aware of. In the case of Scottish cats, there are also straight varieties with regular ears. Luckily, all types share the same personality traits as the short-haired ones. And now, let's dive into the controversy surrounding the Scottish Fold breed. The reason these cats have adorable folded ears is actually due to a nasty health issue called FOCD. FOCD softens the cat's cartilage, which comes at a cost. The ears fold since they don't have the support to sit up. And do you know what else is made of cartilage? The joints, of course. Since the joints don't have the support they need, they become stiff, inflamed, and painful. It's not uncommon for bone tissue to grow around the joints, making matters worse. Thus, the affected cat develops mobility issues. Some cats have more severe symptoms than others, but it's believed all Scottish folds are affected by FOCD. CD. You can find links in the description of some medical articles. And I've also made two videos about Scottish Fold cats. Fortunately, the straight type isn't affected by this disease, so it's a much better option. And now, let's learn just how closely related these two breeds are. Scottish Fold cats can't be bred amongst themselves. Otherwise, the kittens will be born with severe bone deformities and shortened spines. As a result, Scottish Folds can only be bred with other cats. Two breeds can be used for this purpose. One is the British Shorthair, and the other is the American Shorthair. The Scottish Straight is also an option. So yes, one of your Scottish Folds parents can actually be a British Shorthair. By the way, both breeds have struggled to be appreciated but for different reasons. It took a long time for British Shorthairs to be accepted as a breed in the UK. That's because they look similar to the stray cats found there and descend from them. Moreover, they almost went extinct at one point. You can learn all about their tumultuous history in my British Shorthair 101 video. Still, British Shorthairs are highly appreciated in other countries. On the other hand, Scottish Folds took a long time to be accepted due to their health issues. Let's see how they compare in terms of size. You might be surprised to learn that the teddy bear like British cats are actually medium to large fellows. They can weigh up to 17 pounds, which is fantastic if you want a bigger kitty. On the other hand, Scots are medium-sized cats, weighing up to 13 pounds. So if you want a larger kitty, go for a Brit. Appearance Besides the difference in size, there's also the distinct folded-down ears of Scottish Folds. There are actually three folding types that can occur. But as I already mentioned at the beginning of the video, Scottish Straits have regular ears. Moreover, Scots can have short to medium hair or long hair. On the other hand, British cats are either short-haired or have medium-length coats. Both breeds have large, expressive, and kind eyes. Their eyes can be of any color, including this magnificent copper shade. Brits are famous for their solid gray look, but come in many colors and patterns just like Scottish Folds. Still, the British Shorthair's face is typically chubbier and rounder than a Scottish Folds. They're more massive and more muscular. By the way, Scottish Folds that descend from British Shorthairs have rounder faces than other Scottish kitties. Scots and Brits alike have soft, plush-like coats, and I'm sure you won't be able to resist petting them. Both breeds look like teddy bears, but I think the British Shorthair does a better job at this chapter. What do you think? Tell me in the comments. Personality. British Shorthairs and Scottish Cats are known for their sweet, polite, and kind temperaments. They're typically laid back, highly adaptable, and quite affectionate. Since they're so laid back, they can greet guests and befriend them. Moreover, they're both medium energy cats, which in my opinion is just perfect. You can still entice them to play. You still get to watch them goof around, but they don't need constant entertainment. Thus, British Shorthairs and Scottish Kitties are great options for busy people or for people preferring a lower energy pet. On the other hand, and they're not great if you're looking for an active companion. You can leave both breeds alone while you're away for work. Of course, another feline companion would be great to keep them company. Which one is better for families with children? Both breeds are a great option if you have kids. Still, you'll need to supervise small children when interacting with cats. Do they get along with other pets? Usually, yes. Brits and Scots are laid back and do great with other cats and dogs, as long as the other pet is polite. But if you have have a super energetic pet already, I don't recommend getting either of these breeds. Which one is better for smaller homes? Scottish Folds weigh less than British Shorthairs and are a better option in this case. Health Issues 
We can't have a great video without also discussing the bad parts. Unfortunately, both breeds are prone to developing some serious health issues. We already discussed how Scottish Folds are susceptible to developing FOCD, but they can also develop HCM and polycystic kidney disease. British short hairs can also get HCM and PKD. Typically, regular house cats are healthier than pedigreed cats. But why is that? Well, many pedigreed cats have limited gene pools for different reasons. It's not uncommon for a breed to start from just a few individuals, as in Scottish Folds. And unfortunate events, such as the almost extinction of British Shorthairs, play a huge role. That's why it's crucial to get your cat from a respectable breeder, as breeders carefully monitor their cat's health. Still, I think the best option is adopting a cat, especially since millions of cats need a home. Price. Both breeds are pedigreed cats, so it's no surprise they're pricey. Be prepared to spend up to $2,000 on a British short hair. On the other hand, Scottish Fold Kitties are more expensive and are priced between $2,000 and $4,000. The good news? You can get a Scottish Straight instead and pay up to $2,000 on a kitten. You can also opt on getting a retired adult for less. I highly advise you to avoid backyard breeders to minimize the chances of getting a sick individual. Adopt a cat will cost way less, so please consider this option. Final words. British Shorthairs and Scottish Kitties are highly popular and well-known cat breeds. They're very adaptable, sweet, and perfect for just about anyone. Go for a Brit if you're into larger or more massive cats. Choose a Scottish cat if you want a more petite kitty. Last but not least, I suggest staying away from Scottish Folds and going for the straight variety instead. I think it's not worth it to get a cat that can suffer tremendously from an early age. If you want to treat your cat, there's some super cool stuff in the description. And now, watch my dedicated videos on British Shorthairs and Scottish Folds to learn everything about these breeds. See you there!